Welcome to the F5 Networks Advanced Web Application Firewall demo series. In this demo, we'll show how to protect web applications against CSRF attacks or cross site request forgery using a big IP advanced WEF security policy. This is demo 23 of the AWEF demo series, and it's intended for intermediate level big IP advanced WEF users. For optimal viewing, we recommend using full screen mode. The environment for this demo contains three devices. A Windows workstation will be used to submit cross-site request forgery attacks. These requests will arrive at the F5 Big IP system, running advanced WEF. The Big IP system sits in front of, and protects, the back-end web application. The Big IP system, using its full proxy architecture, examines every request and can block all CSRF attempts, and prevent them from going to the back-end web servers. Let's start by showing how a cross-site request forgery attack works. Let's say we were just sent a link via a social media website to this web page. It looks like the same web page we are used to working with. However, it has a link in the middle of the page for a special offer. Notice the web page we're on is hosted on 10.1.10.135. This is actually a fake website, hosted on a web server that the malicious user either owns, or has possibly hijacked. When we click the link, we're redirected to the DVWA login page. Notice that the page we're now on is hosted on 10.1.10.35. This is the real website, hosted on the legitimate web server. Let's now access the actual web application. We'll log in as the username admin. Note that this user's password is password. Users can use the CSRF page to change their own passwords. However users should be able to change their passwords only after they've successfully logged in. At the bottom of the page, we can ensure that we're logged in as the username admin. Now, let's say we open the link from the social media website, using a new tab. Note that we aren't logged into this page with any user credentials. We'll now click the link for the special offer. Notice that we're now on the CSRF page, on the legitimate web server of 10.1.10.35. The page notifies us that our password has been changed. At the bottom of the page, you can see we're now logged in as admin on this tab. The CSRF attack exploited the trust that the web application has with the logged in user on the first tab. On the first tab, let's log out, and then attempt to log in again with the user's credentials. Their login credentials are no longer valid, and they have no idea what their password is. Let's examine the link we clicked on, to see what it does. You can see that it accesses the vulnerabilities slash CSRF page. And then modifies the password to hacker, with an at symbol. We'll now attempt to log in with the modified password. And we succeed. We'll now change our password back to our previous password. To prevent this from happening to any of our users, we must add CSRF protection for the vulnerable URL, which is vulnerabilities slash CSRF. Let's look at the virtual server we've been using. 
This is a standard HTTP virtual server that listens on 10.1.10.35. On the virtual server security policies page, you can see that we already have a security policy attached to this virtual server named 21 CSRF security policy. Next, we'll examine the Big IP Advanced WAF CSRF protection page. We can enable CSRF protection for the security policy using a single checkbox. By default, this adds CSRF protection for all URLs on this web application. However, we'll delete the wildcard entry, because we're only concerned about the page users used to change their passwords. We'll change to advanced edit mode, as this enables us to identify this as an HTTP GET request. We'll now add the vulnerabilities slash CSRF URL. And then save. And apply the policy. That's all it takes to add CSRF protection to a big IP advanced WEF security policy. Let's attempt the CSRF attack again. We'll log back in as admin. We'll access the fake page used for CSRF attacks and then click on the link. This malicious request is now blocked by the Big IP Advanced WEF security policy. Let's examine this blocked request in the Big IP Advanced WEF event log. Notice the violation reason is CSRF token absent. The event log provides details about this violation, including a description, the attack type, the severity, and the risks. We can identify that this was a cross-site request forgery attack, and that it has a violation rating of 4. Big IP Advanced WEF also provides more details about specific attack types. Finally, let's examine the presence of Big IP Advanced WEF CSRF protection in the web application. We'll access the protected CSRF page and then view the source code. Directly under the Change button input, you can see the cross-site request token, named CSRT, which Big IP Advanced WEF injected into the web page, and used to protect the page against CSRF attacks. Thank you for watching this demonstration on how to use CSRF protection with F5 Big IP Advanced WEF. We encourage you to watch additional AWEF demos, and for more details on how Advanced WEF can protect your web applications. Contact your F5 Networks Sales Account Manager. For questions or comments about this video, contact Chris Manley at the email address at the bottom of the page.